Summer is creeping up on us and many people can't wait to spend more time outdoors. Okay, but you need to protect yourself from the sun's harmful rays. Meteorologist Alina Lee live with how you can figure out which SPF is right for you. And it could be hard. There's like 500 options yeah. when you go to the store. It's confusing. Yeah. It's crazy to think that there's 5 to 10 to 30, 50, 70. I mean, it just gets really bizarre, the higher number. But we've talked to some dermatologists who say it's not about the number. It's actually zinc that you need. So you have to make sure that ingredient is in your sunscreen. Of course, you also need a pair of these. You got to protect your eyes. But doctors also want to warn against going outside without protection for your face. And there's one part of your body, particularly your face included, that some people might actually forget. And it's not actually your nose. The big thing people overlook is the lower lip. The sunshine comes down and hits us on the lower lip. And lip cancers are rare, but they're really bad news. And the UV index that we have for forecast over the next few days is about between a 1 to 11 scale. And from today through the rest of the work week, it looks like we'll have very high levels of UV rate or UV index from an 8 to 9 over the next few days. So it certainly is going to be very high. And by the way, there's a mathematical equation for you to be able to calculate how much uh, exposure, UV exposure you're getting. Uh, unfortunately for us, the sun is not high enough just yet. Um, you might be able to see a shadow, but it's called the shadow rule. You usually gauge that. You, if you don't want to do the math, you don't want to do a calculation, look at the length of your shadow and you can determine if it's if your shadow's taller than your body then you're not getting nearly as much exposure as you would if it was shorter. So if you notice your shadow, the length of it is a lot shorter than your body. You're probably getting exposed to a lot of UV rays. So of course, that's one way to gauge it, but you definitely want to put on that sunscreen no matter what. If uh, Definitely people are obviously all skin types are different. So that's another thing we've learned from this dermatologist. All right, I'll send it back Interesting. to you guys. Okay. This is